Hello everyone, welcome back to SunPy. Right now we are working on a machine learning project. In the last video lecture, we have already uh, seen how to import necessary libraries, how to import the data set as well. And then we have uh, got a pretty good understanding of how to uh, understand the data. And then we have visualized our data set. And after that, now it's uh, we have also detected detected the outliers and uh, now we are going to pre-process the data so uh, first we check the data set so this is our original data set we have right now and uh, over here we, if we check the product id column as you can see the feature is following a pattern that is it starts with p00 in for a, for every case so we can get rid of these three digits so to get rid of that we're going to use the replace function dot replace function so we are replacing p o o with nothing okay after that we are going to uh, in, uh, we are going to use the standard scalar so we fit the standard fit and transform the product id column and we reshape it so what does actually do it reshape the feature and give a new look to the array okay after that we are going to uh, drop the product category 3 so you may ask why it's uh, why we are dropping the product category 3 column okay let's go up and check out the check the is null or sum function over here as you can see in the product category 3 we have lots of missing values like more than 50 percent of the data is missing so this feature is useless to us because if we don't get rid of it it will give us multiple errors and our model won't be that much efficient so we uh, drop level category 3 color and we are giving in place is true that means we are removing uh, the product category 3 column from the original data set so after that uh, we have our product category 2 column so if we check our product category 2 columns over here as you can see product category 2 it also has lots of missing values but not that much like the product category 3 uh, it's like 20 to 25 percent so you have to deal with that with that uh, in a different way we cannot just simply drop it so for that we impute the product category 2 uh, using mean that is a building um, that is a built-in function from the pandas so we are using pandas mean to impute the product category 2 so now we check the is now that some function again as we can see we don't have any missing value that's pretty amazing right so we don't have any missing values right now so we are good to go uh, to apply machine learning on our data set so we again check our data set we have updated our data set in this pre-processing section and as we can see uh, this is our new data set uh, I mean the updated data set so this is our product ID so it looks different right it's different than the previous one and uh, we don't have any missing values in our data set anymore so now we are going to delete the categorical values in our variables in our data set uh, as we have seen earlier that in our data set we have lots of categorical features like age gender uh, city category so we have to delete them first so we are going to use the label encoding technique to uh, to turn the categorical variables to numerical values. So for that, first we uh, take all the categorical uh, features we have in our data set in a, a variable. Uh, it, that's cat calls in our case. And we have all label encoded over here. We have already imported it at the beginning. So we're going to use a simple for loop to fit and transform all these categorical features into numerical values 
okay after that uh, one another thing you need to notice here that in the stay in current city years uh, variable we have some values that are plus four four plus that means uh, the the users who are who are uh, living here for more than four years so we're going to uh, remove this plus over here we are just considering them uh, as four so for that uh, we are replacing the four plus uh, with four now we change the data type as integer for gender age and state current city okay we have successfully uh, changed the uh, data type uh, into integer type data type and we have another column that is uh, a city category and we are changing it to category type okay so this is how our final data um, set looks like we have our city category there is uh, they all are numerical now and we have our age it is also numerical and we have our gender it is also numerical that is 0 and 1 that means uh, male and female so we have successfully uh, encoded uh, our uh, categorical variables to numerical values now our machine will easily understand the features easily understand the data because uh, we don't have any object type data type in our data set we have all the uh, integer type data type yeah, we have uh, and the next thing we are going to do we are going to do the log transformation on our data set so what is log transformation actually actually it is the most popular among the different types of transformations used to transform skewed data to approximately comfort to normality if the original data follows a log normal distribution or approximately so then the log transform data follows a normal or near normal distribution so what the log transformation do actually uh, it helps us to transform and change the data to normal distribution so we're going to uh, we're going to use our original data set to, and we are going to use the get dummy function to convert the categorical variables into dummy or indicator variables so after that we check our data set using the dot head function head function and as we can see that we have three different columns now we have uh, city category 0 city category uh, 1 and city category 2 in the previous data set we didn't have them so we have we have the we have three different columns over here and now we are going to train test split the data set uh, we are going to split the data into dependent and independent variables so as our uh, dip independent variables we are going to take all the columns we have and the dependent variables that is our target column uh, that is the purchase uh, feature or, uh, in our data set so this is how our target column looks like and the next thing we're going to do we're going to split the data set into training and test data to split the data set we are going to use the train test split so we have already imported the train this plate we have already seen it earlier so over here we have taken our x and y uh, this x and y are nothing but the dependent and independent variable and uh, over here we are giving test size equal to 0 0.2 and that means the test size is 20% uh, 20% of the data will be used as test data and the rest 80% of the data will be used as training data and over here we have used a random state at 0 and now we check out our uh, x train x test y train and y test shape so this is what it looks like we have got all the output and now we are going to scale the data 
we are going to use standard scalar so what does it actually do it standardize a feature by subtracting the mean and then scaling to unit variance so we have uh, standardized x train and x test and now we are going to perform machine learning so in the next video i'll uh, show you how to perform machine learning for uh, this project uh, so see you in the next video thank you